Hello everyone! How to find a job in Sweden? That could be a great concern for a person who is moving to Sweden or planning to move here in the best country of the world. I myself moved to Sweden several years ago and I can help you to find your dream job here in Sweden. So all the information and tips come from my 10 years of employment experience. Please watch the video till the end. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it right now because you never know when a single piece of information can change your life. So coming to the topic, I have tried my best to address all the questions you may have in your mind as a potential immigrant or even if you are already here, but still, I may miss a lot of things. So leave a comment if you have any questions. I will respond to them for sure. So let's address the first question. How or where to find the jobs? There are several ways to find jobs in Sweden, but LinkedIn, indeed, local and national job agencies of Sweden, are the most smart and practical places to find a job. Reason I'm referring to these sites is that all the jobs where local language is not required are posted on these international recruitment sites. You can find the links to all local and international job sites in the description as well. However, building a network in Sweden has a significant importance because there are thousands of jobs which are never published and employers use to fill the vacancy via internal networks. So put your best efforts in building network. What jobs are in demand in Sweden? So we can divide the job market into two categories to make it easier. One, jobs for English speakers. Two, jobs for Swedish speakers. As an English speaker, IT, innovation, and engineering professions are highly in demand, particularly DevOps, cybersecurity, front and back end developers, data sciences, and many other IT-related fields are high in demand. If you can speak Swedish or are able to learn this simple and easy language, then you get a broader field to play on. In that case, marketing, teaching, medical staff like nurses, doctors, technicians, builders, carpenters, welders, and machine operators have huge demand. How to get a work permit in Sweden To get a work permit, you need to secure a job. And to secure a job, you need a work permit. That's kind of vicious circle, but I learned in a very hard way how to break this circle. If you are from non-EU country, the best way to hunt for a job is come to Sweden on Job Seeker Visa. And I have a dedicated video about this visa. I will put a link in the description. If you're already here on a student visa or a spouse visa, then it's all an easy process. If you are from EU or EEA countries, you can stay in the country for 90 days and look for a job. Once you get a job, you can apply for a work permit. But keep in mind, you can't stay in the country while your application is in process. How to make CV In general, you are required to submit a CV and cover letter to your employer. However, in a recent trend, cover letters are not important for employers nowadays, especially if you're applying in big companies like IKEA, Volvo, and Ericsson. Second thing is, keep your CV aesthetic and simple because employers have only a few seconds to screen your CV. So make sure to present your skills and a little bit about your personality in a very precise way. And please do not attach your picture on your CV because it can go against you. A recruiter can be biased and you will be out of the process. How to come up for an interview Always understand the organizational culture before you appear for an interview. Swedish culture is very impartial, classless, and flat. We do not use the words like sir or madam. In my experience, 
Interviews are quite informal here in Sweden. However, do not forget that you are sitting in an interview. Always be yourself and be a good listener. Employers always focus on your skill set instead of appearance or other fancy stuff. I would always advise you to learn the conversable level of Swedish. Even if it's not the job requirements, it can help you to build an instant connection with your employer. Other than that, Swedish is very important for your social life, so try to become a whole package. Some do's and don'ts. I would advise you to not bet on one horse. You have to be proactive in your job search. As I said earlier, look for jobs on multiple platforms like LinkedIn and with local recruiters. Do not limit yourself. Go out and try to socialize with local people. Get a membership at gym or club. Meet and meet people. Some people claim that Swedish people are not very social. That's right to some extent, but if you try to initiate a talk, you will find them very polite and helpful. That's all for today. Wish you great luck and I will see you in the next one.